All right, so here's the former UFC strawweight champion, Ioana Jacek, for a while there as she dominated all of the top contenders. You wondered if there was ever going to be someone who could solve Ioana Jacek at 115 pounds. Still, most believe she's the best striker in this division. She's one of the best strikers across all divisions in the UFC, regardless of gender. Very fast, very durable, very tough, but also Ioana Jacek and her attitude is what I believe carries her to be most successful. She has this mentality that she believes she is just the absolute best in this division, and you saw it when she was on that long championship reign. And she has been someone who's really maximized some big pay-per-view showcases. She was on the Ronda Rousey Holly Holm card at UFC 193, fought alongside Conor McGregor at UFC 205. She has the it factor and then some. Joanna Champion is back tonight. Joanna Champion, Joanna Gionchecha, steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. Well, she will always hold the distinction as the UFC's first Chinese champion. She is the strawweight queen. Sean Wei Li, and she has got every skill that you would want in an elite mixed martial artist. We haven't seen a whole lot of her groundwork, but you can be sure she is putting in all the effort to have that be just as good as her striking, which is truly off the charts. You can ask your audio J check about that. But as the title defenses mount up and as the challenges continue to get stiffer, we will see how Zhang Wei Li handles herself. Pressure has not been a factor to this point in time. We'll see how it goes for her in defense tonight. Greatest in the world at present, Sean Lee set to fight Joanna Yeon Jackson. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Yolanda Yeonjaja. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed U.S. Bantamweight champion of the world, John Magnum Wiley. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, we are ready to go here at the start of round one for this stand-up only event. So grapplers need not apply. We outline the rules off the top, but here's your refresher. No grappling of any type. We also point out fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the ground. Let's see if the combatants play by the rules here as our first round gets underway. All right, so the Muay Thai Marauder, Yolanda Yanjajek, off to a pretty good start here tonight with her hands, DC. She's got great hands. She's so fast and she's so tall that she throws her punches in combination. But don't be surprised if behind this beautiful jab and this one-two that Yolanda throws, you don't get caught with a leg kick on the way out. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Lands a nice leg kick. There it is again. Oh, and there's another combination. She's turning this into a sparring session. Just high volume, and her opponent's got to make some adjustments. Opponent has to make adjustments, but she has to interrupt those combos. When she gets going into her combination, opponent needs to interrupt that when she is this. 
free-flowing, it is very difficult to deal with. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. It won't take many of those. Nice job blocking it. Oh, straight punch. Well, she keeps prioritizing that calf kick, and now her opponent's calf starting to show signs of bruising. She just took him. She had to check him. Look at the inside leg kick. She grabs her opponent now. Could be the beginning of the end, champ. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. That shot blocked by Yeon Jaichek. Oh, left hand landed. which have landed for Wei Li Zhang. Under a minute now to go on the round. Misses with the right hand. Well, you've heard us say it a lot, but oftentimes with the leg kicks, it doesn't take a whole lot of them to inflict damage, and now her opponent's limping already. Yeah, her opponent's limping. She's done a... What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent for finishing it. Oh, my God. Oh. Those last five minutes. Are you kidding me? All right, let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC, and what a display of striking for her. Yeah, she did a fantastic job of finding her spot, putting herself in position where she was the one landing and really dictating the pace of the fight. She did a great job of mixing up everything to get in control. All right, round two is now here. Wade Lee's ready to fight. and also ready to go ready. the former strawweight queen, sure. Yolanda Yanchich. Well, pretty good showcase for these two women in the previous round as our next round gets underway. Some risk management in the previous five minutes there. This is a big moment for both of these fighters. Somebody is really going to have to make a decision that they are the one that's going to get their hand raised. The previous round was way too close. She's never seen anything. Oh, that's a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Jacek's really limping heavily now. The leg kicks have started to pile up. Clearly, they're having the desired effect. Nice defense by her there to block that punch. She's hurt. She's hurt bad. Lance to the body. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, big left hand. Going to the spinning sidekick to the body, but she missed. Shang's forehead is bleeding now. Cut just opened up. Looks like that one landed beautifully. Man, it's hard to remember her kicking game being on this level in the past. She made it a focus during training camp, and tonight you see the results of all the time spent kicking during training camp. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Try to establish that jab. Waitley gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big bodies. Oh, huge connection fire there. Massive shot, man. How's she gonna try to find the next shot that'll finish the fight? Oh my goodness! Under a minute now to go. 
All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Sean going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Oh, nice. Nice. Round three next. Heading back to the corner now. Zhang's bleeding from the forehead a little bit, so we'll keep an eye on that as the fight continues. Hopefully the cut man can do his work and get it under control so it doesn't bleed down into the fighter's eyes. All right, that round is in the books. Let us show you the replays, including some of the strikes that led to what is a pretty significant cut on her forehead. A pretty significant cut. She was on the wrong end of a lot of damage. She has got to move her head. But hats off to the opponent, knowing exactly what she needed to do, knowing exactly where and what strikes she should throw when fight? she threw them to Ready. get the maximum amount of damage off on her opponent. That was a great round by her. And certainly not the worst cut that we've ever seen, but one that bears watching as this fight continues. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Huge shot by her there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Beautiful combination. That was a big check. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Oh, and a switch kick to the body for good measure. Nice job there by Yeon Jaichev. What a beautiful high kick that landed there. Oh, look at the inside leg kick. She grounds her opponent now. Could be the beginning of the end, champ. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. So the unofficial fight numbers thus far, 80 total strikes. Oh. How about these two going at it? That was a jab. Oh, huge left. Just over two minutes now to go. That was a nice strike. Yeon Jaicek's left leg appeared to be damaged by that last kick, so could be an emerging storyline as this fight continues. All right, nice job Bayer to sort of shell up defensively here and prevent any of these shots from getting through. She is taking no damage because she's so on point defensively. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Her corner men are losing their minds. She got stunned by that strike earlier in the round, but just hasn't gotten herself mentally or physically back in the fight. You never know how your fighter is going to react to adversity. Right now, she has not done a good job of this. Trying to establish that jab once again. She got that kick to the body home. Just missed with the left there. Final seconds here. Oh, All right, that's oh. three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, well, some thought maybe we wouldn't get here, but there's the horn signifying the end of the round. She had her opponent rocked at one point, wasn't able to finish. Gotta think she'll be looking to do just that in the next round. She's gonna be looking to finish this fight. She has to, right? She has her opponent hurt. Even as her opponent walked back, to the corner. She still looked like she was on shaky legs. So if she takes her time, goes and find the kill shot, she will be able to end this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. 
All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool. And then... Oh, huge connection fire there. Massive shot, man. How is she going to try to find the next shot that will finish the fight? Oh, a big right hand. Well, without even looking at those stats bottom of your screen, you know that the most significant strike in this fight has been to the body. It has been there for her all night long. She knew coming into this fight that she didn't want to just head hunt. She didn't want to just leg kick. She had to attack the midsection. Oh! Standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing him. Well, pretty good recovery by her opponent after being stunned, but we see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, your opponent's back in the fight can potentially win. Especially with discipline. <laughs> Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Now lands a solid punch there. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought so valiantly. They have really laid it out. Oh! There it is again. Look at that. Man, she's hurt her opponent. Gonna see if she can close the night. Come on, let's go. Let's work. All right, look for her to go back to that overhand here again. Seemingly, when she has gone to it tonight, it has been there. Let's see if she goes back to it again now. Nice body shot. Well, she was knocked down by. Oh! This is big. That's big. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Young Jackson. Right. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. Well, get the bonus checks ready. What a round it was. Multiple knockdowns on one side. And you gotta think she's a little bit frustrated that she wasn't able to get the knockout, but every round begins on the feet. John, if she's getting frustrated, she will find herself in trouble. You cannot try and determine when a fight will be finished. You gotta let it happen. Even if you get all those knockdowns, don't force it. Allow yourself to go back and do the same thing that gives you any reason to find frustration in not getting the finishes, but find the kill shot this time. Ready to fight? Ready. It is the fifth and final round. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Sean. I mean, she's fighting a fantastic. Oh, right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down to get another one off to finish the fight. Elbow now blocked by Yoani Gilchenko. Getting that left hand home to the target. Well, she oh, she's hurt real bad. Finish it. Finish it. Oh my goodness! Oh! She missed with that jab. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Nice shot there by the champ. Straight right is there. Oh, 
she landed another strike to the body there. Very smart to work that body late in the fight when her opponent is fatigued. You didn't see a lot of that from her earlier in the fight. She is certainly getting after it now. Oh, Back to the feet now. Oh, big left. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Swing and a big hit. Hard body kick. Oh, 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 do it. oh my goodness. Let's go inside the octagon now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 17 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Joanna Yeje. Yeah. All right, so the former strawweight queen getting it done in a big way here tonight. She is far from finished. Joanna Young, Jay, check your winner by knockout. She's always been one of those fighters that if she can get you hurt, she's going to finish you. And to carry that type of power at that weight class,